Hi friends, so a customer <clears throat> is telling me that the car is uh, dying. So let's see kind of what's happening here. So this is a 2013 Mazda 3 Skyactiv uh, 2 liter G code for the engine. So it tries to start, but then it dies. <clears throat> so because it's cranking pretty easily, that tells me it's not the battery. And what does an engine need to run? It needs air, spark, and fuel. So the easiest thing for me to check would be the air. Spark would probably be second easiest, and then checking, you know, fuel pump and injectors would be uh, would be last. So let's go take a look at uh, <clears throat> where the air is metered, which is the mass air flow sensor. So in the engine compartment, this is the air filter for the engine, and this is the mass air flow sensor. So the way that you test that this is actually working is you actually unplug it and then you try to run the car. So you just press this clip in pretty hard, flip it up, and now it's unplugged. Let's see if the car starts. Okay, so for my case, this was easy. This is a mass airflow sensor problem. Uh, for you, you might need to keep going down the rabbit hole and check your spark plugs, your coils, see if there's spark coming in. And then you would also need to see if your fuel system is in order. So fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, injectors, uh, fuel filter. You can actually drive the car like this with the mass uh, flow sensor disconnected. It might buck a little, but it'll, uh, it'll drive. It just goes into a default map on the computer. Instead of actually reading how much air is coming in, it would just go into a default. So I had no codes. I did read uh, with the code. Uh, there's no code. Now you can see, and there was no check engine light. Now that you can see there's a check engine light on, obviously because the mass airflow sensor is disconnected. So this is just the Phillips head, and then it pops out. There's like a ceiling ring there. So I'm just going to take a look. So you can see there's a resistor wire here, but there are also holes here. So there's a hole here and a hole here. So that tells me it's kind of a, a screen type. So that, that screen is probably damaged or scratched. I just got the part number. This is the, the math for the Sky Active engine, guys. Very important. The other 2 liter uh, Mazda engines uh, have a different shape. I did get this on, on Amazon. It was from like Kia Parts Store. Um, it is genuine. Seems like it's made in Japan. I know there are a bunch of fakes on Amazon. I didn't feel like overpaying like $200 at our local O'Reilly's. This was uh, 162 bucks on Amazon. I put it in the car, so let's try to see if the car starts now. Alright, the car runs. And there's no there's no check engine light. And everything's good. The first thing that you guys should do is uh, read the codes. Anytime that the car is not running, um, hopefully there's a code. So I use this uh, Carista OBD dongle. There's VPAC, there are a bunch of other Bluetooth ones. So you would stick it into the OBD port in your car on this uh, 2013 Mazda 3 Sky Active. That is right here. And it has a specific shape, so it only go in one way. So for me, it would be this way. So the wider part goes toward me. Stick it in here. The car would need to be in position two, so because this is a push start, I would put it into uh, the on mode. And the really great app, uh, what I use, is uh, OBD Fusion. It does cost a couple bucks, but it is uh, really simple. It could give you diagnostics, it could give you readouts, it can give you sensor information, it could give you a lot of stuff. So let's try to take a look at the monitors, trouble codes, see if anything's set. So for me, I do have a couple. So there's one, because I, I ran the car with the math disconnected, that's why the code set. Sometimes the codes don't actually set when the car is having trouble, then you have to go down the rabbit hole and troubleshoot. So mass air flow sensor and the temperature air intake set temperature sensor are usually on the same sensor. Usually they're done on the math. So I'm gonna just clear codes now. It'll give you a warning, you'll just say yes. I want to actually clear it. And it could give you a bunch of other stuff I'm not going to get into now. But the first step that you should do anytime that the car is running poorly or not running is scan for the codes. If you don't want to buy OBD Fusion and then a Bluetooth uh, connector, 
you can go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, assuming that your car can limp there, and they can scan it, scan it for you for free. Hopefully this solves your problem. Again, math is the easiest one. You disconnect it, see if the car runs. That's your answer. Spark plugs, check that your coils are seated, right? If they're old, um, there are a whole bunch of other videos that we can do if, you know, your car's misfiring. It could be a clogged catalytic converter. So it's creating too much back pressure and choking the engine. It could be a cam position sensor. It could be a lot of other stuff. But again, hopefully the basics of air fuel and spark are going to give you the answer all right guys that's all i got for today 